up YouTube, the Random Outdoorsmen are back, and today we're reviewing this handmade fire steel from B. Riley Blacksmithing. But first, sometime after the use of flint and steel became widespread, where is my tunic? I know I left it sitting around here somewhere. Ugh. All right, so I want to start off this video by thanking B. Riley Blacksmithing for giving me this to test. Um, because it's a fire steel, obviously there's not much to test on it. We're not going to do any wood splitting with it. Um, but we can check out its craftsmanship. It seems to be made very well. It's made out of the correct metal because it sends off sparks very well here. You see those sparks just flying everywhere. Um, it's crafted very well. You can see here the, uh, the turns. The shape is right for your hand. It feels very comfortable to hold. Um, I think the reason that these were done originally, because this is a classic design, is obviously so you wouldn't get stabbed, but it also makes it very comfortable to hold there in your hand. Sorry, my hands are all dirty. I've been handling up this char cloth. But it feels very nice. Um, I would say I have at least average size hands, maybe a little bit bigger, so it's comfortable. Um, obviously, if you had abnormally large hands, I'm sure you could ask him to make a very big one. So I'll do a quick test with this. Put my piece of char cloth here. There we go. Two strikes. See, so I got that ember going there already. Um, I'm not going to start a fire today because we're inside. But there that is. Worked very well. So once again, I want to thank him for giving me this to test. Make sure to check out his Facebook page. I will put the link to that in the description. Please check that out. He has got some really awesome stuff in there. Um, he does made to order. So um, his contact information will be there on his Facebook page. So make sure to check that out. Once again, thank you to him for giving me this to test. And that's all for today's video. So make sure to like, subscribe, comment, tell us what you thought of this. And happy trails.